Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we will be analyzing the Nasdaq 100 index, the WTI crude oil and Netflix. We will see where they're going to move over the next weeks and months. Please subscribe to our channel if you want us to keep releasing technical analysis for free, while to receive our real-time alerts and our top picks on uh, crypto, stocks, commodities and forex, then you can join our growing community on Patreon. You will find the link in the description field. Let's start with the Nasdaq 100 index uh, on a weekly basis. Uh, I've been uh, alerting my patrons uh, over the uh, last few months about the level that the Nasdaq 100 index had hit. Uh, right now, I expect uh, the movement, the downward movement, uh, um, to continue. Uh, my very first target is 10,000 uh, points. Uh, most probably, we are going to hit 7,500 points uh, in uh, 2023. I've been uh, explaining several times that uh, I do believe uh, the very uh, period, the strongest period in terms of weakness uh, for the American market will be hit between the summer and the fall of the 2022. And the bearish momentum uh, will be actually holding till uh, the first quarter of 2023. From there, um, we will see finally the bull trend resuming itself. Okay. Uh, right now, what we see here once we analyze the weekly chart for the Nasdaq 100 index is a lower high so actually here we can definitely create a channel a downtrend channel which project definitely the asset the Nasdaq 100 index going to hit 10,000 US dollar I've been sending a buy signal for an ATC short Nasdaq 100 index to my patron actually we've been in a very strong profit right now we can enter again the, um, so we took profit now we can again buy a short a short uh, etc for the nasdaq and index since we have broken below the previous uh, point of law uh, right now the chances to to, to see uh, the nasdaq 100 index hitting the barrier at 10,000 points uh, over uh, summer between summer and fall 2022 are really high so actually we are going to exploit this uh, movement i'm definitely bearish so uh, the only chance to make uh, profit uh, uh, trading the nasdaq 100 index right now is just short so buying and short um, etc okay so uh, right now we have two chances either uh, buying an ETF short right now that we have broken below this level or we, we will be waiting for actually the test of this area around 13500 points uh, actually where we can create the descending channel and we can start buying an, an ETF a short ETF okay uh, now if we analyze the two cycles we can definitely see how the white curve is below the orange one same confirmation from um, the second cycle now it's very interesting to move um, to analyze the monthly chart uh, because it will give us a much better idea where actually we are as you can see here uh, we saw a, a prolonged period with uh, candles above the upper uh, uh, band okay when that happens actually we are in extreme momentum i've been sending several newsletters to my patrons where i was stating that actually we um, we had to be very careful about the situation because with the very first candle closing below the upper band then most probably we would have seen the nasdaq one and index uh, tumbling down and as you can see here the very first level uh, for our uh, short strategy is actually where the lower band is, pa is passing by and as you can see here it's passing by at 10,200 points okay so uh, my idea my opinion is that uh, the Nasdaq 100 index over the next month is going to hit this area the lower band from here we will see a rebound to then retest this area around 7500 points which is actually my ultimate uh, second level for the short strategy for the nasdaq 100 index uh, from there from this area between uh, uh, 6, uh, 2 and 7, 5, uh, 6,200 points and 7,500 points. Actually, uh, we will see the new bull trend uh, for the second uh, semester of 2023. Till then, uh, so 
until uh, uh, the first quarter of the 2023, definitely we can say that we are inside a bearish momentum uh, and actually buying uh, the index or the tech stocks, uh, the American tech stocks uh, right now is extremely, extremely dangerous. I will not do it. Actually, again, uh, my idea, what I'm doing is to short, uh, is shorting actually the index. Uh, this is actually my trading. Uh, so I'm not suggesting you to do so. I'm just saying that that is exactly what I'm doing right now. So now let's move on. Let's analyze Netflix. Uh, uh, what we see here is a weekly chart. Um, now we see a huge spike in terms of volume. The, uh, we see a break of the candle below uh, the lower band, which which means that we are in extreme momentum right now. Uh, yet uh, I do believe we still have still this area 70, 70 between 17 and 80 US dollar. Um, even in this case, uh, uh, my uh, short strategy has been successful. Um, actually, if we switch to the monthly chart, we will even see, we will see even better what I actually uh, what is my strategy where I see Netflix moving over the next uh, month. Okay, after eating uh, actually a point of high at around uh, almost 700 US dollar, we see actually a big fallout, a big tumbling down for uh, Netflix. Right now, we see a candle which has broken below the lower band which means again we are in, actually in a very extreme momentum uh, yet um, i do believe it's not over so this area as i said before this is the very first support around this one okay seven seven thousand uh, 70,000, uh, sorry, 70 US dollar is the area, between 70 and 80 US dollar is the area from where we can start uh, uh, buying Netflix uh, uh, f just for a rebound, okay? Uh, yet, uh, right now, uh, I do believe the uh, bearish momentum is going to uh, keep going for Netflix, uh, so it's not over yet, as you can see here, once we analyze the cycles, we see here the red curve below the azure one and the white curve below the orange one. Um, actually, uh, it, it's right now it's not safe to uh, start buying. Uh, we will need to wait uh, unless you are short in Netflix, which is uh, actually a much better idea. And it, it, it's, it's exactly what I'm doing right now. Okay, so uh, this area between 78 US dollar, we will see a very first rebound, but right now we are still at 190 US dollar. Uh, the second lever, which is actually the the most important one, where I will be starting, uh, will start buying in 2023, is this area between 30 and 40 US dollar. Um, that is the area where actually uh, the downfall for the downtrend for Netflix will stop, and from here we will see a strong rebound. Again, this is not going to happen uh, actually uh, right now for the next weeks. Uh, but we will see this area being hit uh, between the end of 2022 and the beginning of 2023. Right now, it's much more uh, clever to shorting Netflix rather than buy, buying. Okay, so very again, very first area from where uh, those one were eager to buy Netflix between 70 and 80 US dollar. Uh, but the most, the strongest support will be around 40 US dollar. Now let's move on. Let's analyze the crude oil. Uh, for the crude oil, uh, actually what we see here uh, is a weekly chart. Uh, right now we are at the end of the weekly cycle. Uh, the price has hit the upper band. From here we will see uh, actually a, a, re a retrace uh, to retest this area around 70, 80 US dollar. Right now we have the confirmation with the white curve below moving below the orange one, same for here, for the red curve uh, closing below the azure one. Okay, so in terms of cyclicity, uh, as you can see here, uh, actually the previous cycle started in uh, May 16 to close in uh, uh, October 18, so a two year cycle. Uh, so July 20 should be around uh, July 22, the end of the current cycle. So we must, we could see some skip, actually we could see the price keep moving uh, a little bit higher or sideways, uh, yet uh, uh, right now, uh, most probably over the next month, uh, we will see a retrace for the crude oil. Okay, guys, if you want to receive our topics and our real-time alerts, then you can join our growing community on Patreon. Thank you, guys.